I'm Racer Magazine's Marshall Pruitt. Let's take a look inside IMSA's fascinating new hybrid GTP cars. We are going to look at something that is magnificent. I, I see, I see, I see. Acura ARX 06, the heart of the ARX 06, is brand new IMSA GTP model. You are one of the crazy people at Honda Performance Development that said, let's take a 2.4 six cylinder and a 90 degree V configuration with two turbos that was also conceived for IndyCar. And let's go endurance racing with this. You're gonna show us the heart of this ARX 06. You begin with the size. You see this size that's very, very small. It's so not four. fair. It's tiny. It's tiny. So it's tiny. So you, you have a, a length of 460 millimeter, right? And you try to package a V6 into that, right? I think that's and a little over 25 inches long. Yes. Yes, yes. So imagine that. Um, and what you can see there is a very compact engine. Right, so the, you can see the turbo is very, very close to the head. You can see that we have a very large plenum, but we try to package everything around that, right? So you have an intercooler which is inside the plenum. That's kind of not really classic. You and have that is air to water, I believe. Yes, air to water, air to water intercooler. Yes, you have an air to water. Which is very unique as well. So you you don't see a lot, but the magic is inside, <laughs> right? The magic is inside, right? So we made this engine really to allow an efficient combustion. We made this engine to allow an efficient aeration, that means the air going through it, we want it to be, uh, again, as less friction as possible. The engine is extremely light. That's how we designed this engine. The engine was so light that we had to put a lot of ballast into it. I would right? imagine. Right, so, um, and that allows us to have a very low center of gravity, right? The packaging, uh, and again, some of the other motors in the GTP class, very impressive from a packaging standpoint as well, but this, this is wearing skinny jeans and everything is very, very tucked in. I mean, you mentioned here, if you look at the turbocharger and the wastegate, the exhaust routing, look yes. at the incredibly short distance between the turbocharger to the plenum itself. So just the acceleration of air, yes, so we have, phenomenal. We, we obviously reduce our inertia thanks to that. Uh, the, yeah, you, uh, again, you can see the packaging around the car. We had to package behind everything behind uh, um, the, stif the stiffening bar, right? Uh, and again, we we had a lot of margin to to place our parts uh, where we wanted to be. At the same time, again, the difficult part of it is you try to squeeze a big bore engine, so that's kind of a relatively big bore inside a, a very short package. And you can see, so obviously we have the water, water radiator in here, and then you go through a water pump, and then we distribute the water inside the cylinder so that they are cooled the same way. The number one, the number two, the number three, four, five, six, they are cooled identically, right? So we try to do that. We have the direct fuel injection as well. We here. have a direct fuel injection. The the fuel system, so we have a fuel pump. You can just see the fuel pump is here. And uh, you, we have optimized our injector position. Direct injection, so that means you direct the fuel inside the combustion chamber. And you try to do that to optimize combustion, mm. right? So you, uh, and Yes, that's how you position your injector, basically. Also here with the exhaust, traditional, just for those who haven't seen it before, we have the traditional exhaust with the three outlets coming out yes. of this bank, you, you, but also have integrated the uh, integrate wastegate. wastegate. Wastegate outlet and exhaust outlet. And you do so, obviously, to make sure that you have the less restriction on your engine, right? That's one item, but also try to be compact. You try to help the aerodynamics of the car, right? Uh, and you try to make it very light. We obviously use uh, 
3D printed technology in order to do this exhaust, right? So that you can define a very nice shape. Um, uh, again, I think that's, that's uh, top notch. This motor as well, Pierre, is, is controlled by a lot of very intelligent computers, obviously taking air from the scoop leading in here, uh, feeding the air box right down to the turbos, which then feed that into the intake plenum here where the intercooler exists, as you mentioned. This is also, even though we have the stiffening bars, this is also very much a stress member. This yes. motor itself, the yeah, torsional the, so rigidity the, is phenomenal. Lot, a lot of the calculation goes into the stiffness of the engine, right? You try to be as light, but still retaining some stiffness for the car, right? So that's how, that's how you do it, basically. Right. Obviously, we are helped by the fact that it's quite short. The so short make it a bit easier to get stiff. Uh, but obviously, the majority of the parts in here they are not steel; they are aluminium, right? So advanced aeronautic aluminium, right? A piece of artwork. It, it, Jewelry. It is, it is like an art. I think it could go, hopefully not soon, but in a museum sometimes, <laughs> right? But uh, we hope it, it can win a couple of races before. A couple, if not a <laughs> yeah. few more. Pierre, thank you so much for taking some time. You're welcome.